boys and girls. Shh, it's a me, Checo. I am the biggest superstar ever in Brazil. I have a game, a good game. I'm good. You are good. We are all very good. Please make love to me. Wonderful. Here, my chant. What? Yo, what's going on guys? Soderbred Gamer here and welcome to Chechko in the Castle of Lucio. This is an old school game from like 1994 I believe. And it's just redone. Made to work on modern systems. Here's the PC port. I don't know what system it was on originally, but uh... It's just an old school game, that's all you need to know from the mid 90s. And it's a, it's a platformer. The object is to get the key on each screen and uh, has a lot of uh, old school NES and Super NES uh, theme. And really, uh, the challenge is, oh shit. if you take your time and be patient, you can get through these without taking damage. Like this right here really Brings me back to like levels of uh, Castlevania with Frankenstein, the blocks. There's a lot of inspiration from old school games. But yeah, if you take your time, it's not that hard a game. I don't really give it a good example because I'm not good at platformers, but. Fuck! I am trying my best. Say that as I take all that damage. All right. I just gotta really focus, pay attention, have patience. It's all about that old school timing. Something I was not really that great at. But yeah, everything is pretty self-explanatory. I figured out all the stages so far. I mean, I've only been playing it for a few minutes. This is about as far as I've really got. Oh, what the hell? Get on her head, alright. Alright, yeah, this is farther than I've ever been. So now the shit's getting real. What the hell? got killed by, like, Saddam Hussein head. I don't know if that was who it was supposed to be. In the mid-90s. It could have been, for all I know. Looked like him. But I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just guessing. I don't know who it really was. To me, it looked like Saddam, though. Alright. Yeah, the game actually, uh, it runs good. Good frame rate, I'm getting no drops, runs great on my system. Controls are really tight. I don't really have any complaints about it. Except the uh, resolution's really weird. Like, I can't full screen it, so I can't see the... I mean, you won't see it in the video, you'll be able to see the screen, because I'll adjust it. But right now I can't see like the top of the screen, so if there's like spikes, I can't really see them. And the developer says to change your uh, aspect ratio to 4-3 instead of 16 by 9. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't mess around with that just for this one video. I'll I'll suffer through it. But yeah, that's what they suggest. I'm probably after I make this video, I probably won't play this again. I usually don't really play the games after I do the toasty plays, but not because they're bad or anything like that, just I gotta move on to the next. It's just kind of, you know, my job. Alright. Alright, there we go. See, it can be done without damage. I always get damage there. 
old school timing. Uh, yeah, but it's not it's not too difficult. If you're uh, really good at these kind of games, you'll probably do a hell of a lot better than I'm doing. All right. Oh, we gotta wait for the key, and it's slow as hell. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Oh, come on. We got this, we got this. Oh, come on! Alright, last try. Last try. Yeah, all the way back from the beginning. No checkpoints. It is like a game from the 90s. Are you serious? I already took damage. Like on the second screen. Alright. We're just gonna take your time. I just get too nervous sometimes when I'm supposed to go and I just I hesitate. Or I go too soon or too late. Oh yeah, when you get the patterns down, it's not too difficult. I just, I'm not doing a good representation <clears throat> of the product. I'm just not good at these games. The controls are, they're tight. I can, I can tell you that. I think it only supports a 360 controller or 360 equivalent. I use a Logitech. F310 360 clone Works good for what I need it for I've never really had any compatibility issues with it It's worked on every game I have on Steam So I have really no complaints I got it for like under 20 bucks so. Alright yeah I think uh, it's going to be a shorter video than normal Oh, oh, are you serious? There we go. I was gonna say, please come back. Yeah, I'm not very good at it, but I do enjoy it. I see the appeal. doesn't get me. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, I would say it's worth a dollar. I mean, it might go on sale and actually go cheaper than that, but for what it is, you really can't go wrong. I say, yeah, spend a dollar, give it a chance. If you like them old school platformers from like, you know, the Super Nintendo era, it's, uh, it's definitely like that. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.